Hola and hello from Hotel Luzon, Yucatan in Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. You're probably already admiring this kick-ass tile feature behind me. Well, what this is is a mishmash backsplash of pasta tiles randomly thrown together for a mosaic wall decor. And this is very, very typical of this region. And you and I are going to find out how and why they're made here. So follow me to the most famous pasta tile factory in Mexico. I'm Allison and that's my husband, Todd. He films our antics as we travel across Mexico and, well, I act like this. And I hunt for handmade goods. You can buy them at TexMexFunStuff.com and on Amazon in the U.S., Mexico, and 80 countries across Europe. Now enjoy our next video. Made in Mexico. Quick history of mosaic tiles, or pasta tiles, in the Yucatan Peninsula. These tiles were originally made in Barcelona, Spain, and used by architects such as Antony Gaudi as early as 1857. And I am here, obviously, with Tex-Mex fun stuff, but we want to show you a little bit about La Peninsula Mosaicos. This is a very, very famous place to get tiles in Merida, Yucatan, and this is the owner, founder and owner. This is Ignacio. So, how long have you guys been in business? We've been in business for the last 30 years. Muy bien. How did you start making tiles for the people of Merida? <laughs> well, it was not easy. Oh. I, I had to learn to, because you don't study this at university. Exactly. Uh, so we had to learn step by step. And uh, I think we are doing OK. We have he's famous, so I, he's doing OK. We have sent our tiles to several countries, including including U.S. of course. Uh -huh. uh, our tiles are also at uh, at a restaurant in the Empire State Building. In New that's York. right. Yes. That's right. I read that on your website. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. You're worldwide. How did mosaic tiles become? so significant here in the Yucatan Peninsula? We have the material here in the Yucatan. Also, uh, because uh, our weather mm -hmm. is very hot. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And the tiles are very fresh. Uh, it's true, they do, they keep cool. They keep cool, yeah. yes. Yeah. The Spanish loaded their ships full of these pasta tiles as ballasts, literally to balance the otherwise empty boats on their way to Mexico. They landed in the ports of Yucatan, Campeche, and Veracruz, then proceeded to dump out all of the tiles upon arrival. Then they filled the ships up with their Mexican treasures and back off to Spain they went. Then China came up with this less expensive ceramic tile and introduced it to Mexico and the world market. At that point, the seven or so factories in Merida that had been producing these high quality tiles shut down. All but one. Mosaicos La Peninsular. Ignacio and the gang endured the ceramic tile storm, and thank God, because they alone have kept this home decoration and flooring tradition alive. Plus, mosaic tiles last a minimum of 50 years and up to 100, whereas ceramic tile lasts around seven to 10 years. He was commissioned to design the flooring for the now world famous El Gran Museo del Mundo Maya, which is a very sexy honor. But we can all tell he's way prouder of being featured in the Tacombi Mexican restaurant in the Empire State Building. And then you started 30 years ago, and even though Home Depot showed up with its cheap <laughs> tiles made of ceramic, you just kept plowing ahead with your process. That's right. Excellent. Well, what we'd like to do is, if you don't mind, go take a look at exactly how these are made. Sure. sure. That would be wonderful. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So we make these two different mixtures. Make a dry mixture of fine uh, material, uh, a wet uh, mixture with the other material. You need, to, you need to have some stones that are rough and you need some that need to be fine. And this is the process of basically thinning out some of the rough stone to get that secondary material. That's right. 
And by the way, there's a lot of manual work going on here, but it is all powered by solar. No, for the board. You got a guy with a big old bucket, you let him go first. They are making, they are all making different designs. Some of them are solid colors, some are designs. These guys are called ladrilleros. That's Spanish for brickmakers. They start with a decorative mold, or die cast, if you will. They mix very fine dry cement with color and fill in the little sections within the mold with a scooper thing. Afterwards, they sprinkle fine dry cement on top. Then, they fill in the rest of the space with a thicker, damp and chunky cement mixture. After the ladriero cleans off the mold, he just sticks it in a hydraulic press and literally presses it for five seconds. Ignacio is actually a mechanical engineer by trade, so I think that's where the hydraulic press comes into play. Anywho, the ladriero removes the mold from the press, releases the brick from the mold, flips it over, and voila! A 100% handmade piece of beauty is on the backside. As you can imagine, the more complicated a pattern and the number of colors per piece determine the length of time it takes to make each one. But after that process is complete, the tiles simply dry. No baking of any kind. They simply dry out for eight days. How much time does it take to create just one tile with this process? Well, it depends on the complexity of the design. Okay. It might take uh, three minutes four minutes or even five minutes. How many tiles can he make in one day? From 80, 80 tiles to up to 130. Dang. Ignacio doesn't make molds, but he has a mold for every style. Hacienda Old World Classics, Art Deco, traditional Mayan embroidery looks, you name it. Then Ignacio gave me a fabulous and unexpected gift the literal book on the subject. And here he is, the man behind the mask. Hope you enjoyed this video of our little tour of Mosaicos La Peninsular. Punto com. Check it out. They got a good English section and a good Spanish section and we will be back on our channel with more goodness. <laughs>